presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. Last week we met Jungle Jim, a gentleman adventurer, and his native boy Kolu, a powerful Malaysian, as they returned to their camp and found it sacked and burned by river pirates. About to start to the village for new supplies, they were visited by the Reverend Manley Chalmers, who was on his way upcountry to investigate a report of a new religion being started among the natives. When Jim and Kolu reached the village, they met Lynn Chalmers, daughter of the missionary who had arrived unexpectedly and missed her father. So Jim took her under his protection. Stopping at a cafe to visit his old friend Patrick O'Shaughnessy Flynn, Jim saw a lad being beaten up by a brute of a man named Jacques Labar. Jim stepped up and warned the French Canadian that he would give him the beating of his life. The thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the big Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. For Comic Weekly, each page printed in full colors is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And now we continue the story. Jungle Jim, his eyes narrowed into burning slits, advances on the giant French-Canadian, Jacques Labar. Ah, you want to fight, eh, Jungle Jim? You heard me, Labar. I'm going to give you the beating of your life. By God, you think you leak Jacques Labar, eh? I'll make a good try at it. Ha, 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 ha. You are funny man. Maybe you won't think so when I get through with you. Hold on, no, Jim. Oh, you keep out of this, Pat. This is between me and Labar. To the finish. And I tell you now, what will be finished, Mr. Jungle Jim? Not me, Jacques Labar. How you like that? Well, go ahead and talk. You won't be able to in a little while. Come on, what you wait for? I'm letting you get that rest first. I don't want you saying I took advantage of you when you were out of breath from beating up a kid. That kid, she lie. Like one bad dog. I killed him. I don't think so. He's coming out of it. Hey, fix that kid. Hey, get that boy out of here, Pat. That I will. Come along, me boy. Uh, thanks, Mr. Oh, I'll forget it, kid. But keep out of this half breed way after this. You bet I will. Now let me get this coat off and I'll go to work. Yes, do be careful now, Jim. Oh, don't you worry, Pat. I'll be able to take care of myself. Maybe you take care of yourself. But you're not able to take care of Jacques Labar. Don't be too sure of yourself, Labar, and see that you fight tail square. No hitting below the belt, mind you, and no fouling in the clinches. <laughs> there won't be any clinches, Pat. Good. It's to be a fair fight, Jim. I'll stand here with this bottle in me hand and see to that. Pat, let's move these tables back. We'll need plenty of room for the bar to land. All right, Jim. Come back as far as ever you like. You waste your strength, young Jim. You need all your guts. Stand up, check what I'm going to give you. No use for move, Pebble. I knock you right over him. Listen to me, Laba. This time you're facing a man, not a kid half your size. This is a fight to the finish. In the meantime, the Reverend Manley Chalmers has arrived at Burawani and is interviewing a native. What is your name, my friend? Loki, Tiwan. Do you know the bush country up that way? Uh, yes, Tiwan. Loki, no bushland, lick, lick, all same good. Well, that's fine, Loki. Perhaps you're just the boy I'm looking for. Why you want Loki, Tiwan? For two reasons. The first is I want some information. And the second... I want a boy to guide me up into the bush country. Loki guide lick lick all same good. Well, we shall see about that. Uh, Loki, how long ago did you come down here to Burawani from up there? Seven days, seven nights, two one. Loki, listen. I work for one big fellow master. He orders us all to speak the truth. Do you understand? Loki, no. One big fella master say lick, lick, all same, no tell lies. That's right, Loki. We must never tell lies. Now, how long ago did you come from up there? Seven days, seven nights, two one. A week ago, eh? Then you may be able to tell me what I want to know. What two one want know? I've heard that your brother's up there in the bush. Do not listen to the words of big fella master God. I've heard they worship another master. Is that true, Loki? Loki, good boy, two one. I'm not questioning that, Loki. I'm sure you are. But some of your brothers aren't. What two one mean? You know about God. The mission two one has told you about him. Yes, All yes. good boys know and love God. Yes. But your brothers up there in the bush have forsaken him. 
They do the bidding of another master, Loki, a bad master. Isn't that true? Maybe. Why, you ask? I want to find out why they obey this new master. Can you tell me? Maybe. Your brothers are holding some sort of ceremony up there in the bush. That is true, isn't it? Yes, it's true, Juan. I want to see it, Loki. No, why, Juan, ever see? Perhaps not, but I want to see it. Will you take me up where they hold it? What do you do there, Juan? Nothing. Just watch the ceremony. Not for white Juan's eyes. Have you seen it, Loki? Yes, it's true, Juan. Loki see, lick, lick, all same, plenty. Tell me, what is it like? Loki no can tell, Juan. You mean that you can't describe it, that you can't put it into words? Loki make promise not tell what see. Yes, but you didn't promise that you wouldn't take anybody up there where he can see the ceremony for himself. No, Tuan. Loki no promise. Good. Then you'll take me there. Loki tell true. Tuan better he stay Burawani. You mean it's dangerous for me? Tuan better he stay here. Loki tell true. Now listen, Loki. I am a missionary of God. I am not like some of my white brothers who mean your brother's harm. I'm on a mission of peace. Take me to this place where I may see this new ceremony, and I promise you that I'll come away with you quietly. I shan't start any trouble. You want no kill my people? No, Loki. Of course I won't kill your brothers. Just take me to this place you speak of, and after the ceremony, I'll come away with you. You want no got fire stick? No, I have no gun, Loki. No fire stick. Good. Loki guides mission to us. Splendid. When can we start? Now. Now it's all right with me, Loki. Get into my boat. Sit there while I just turn the engine over. There. Now, which way, Loki? Go there. Right go. Where are? While the Reverend Chalmers has been persuading Loki to guide him to the scene of the mysterious ceremony, Jim and Labar are mixing it up in the cafe. <laughs> the half-breed charges swinging viciously. Jim ducks the blows and rips his left into the giant midsection. Where are you, my sir? With a growl, Labar retaliates with a right to Jim's jaw, and Jim lands against the table. Yeah, how you like that? Jim shakes his head to clear it and comes back at his opponent with a rush. How do you like that? <laughs> Good work, Jim. Uh, watch out for any dirty one. Uh, come on, Labar. Fight fair now. <laughs> but let's leave it. Leave them to fight it out. We go to the hotel veranda where Lynn Chalmers is waiting for Jim to return. Colo has made all the purchases and arrives at Lynn's side. Mrs. Chalmers? Yes, I'm Miss Chalmers. You must be Colo. Yes, Missy. Me, Kolu. Mr. Jim told me you wore a red turban. Yes, Missy. Kolu like it. Pretty turban. Only boy have red color turban. Well, go on, Jim. Kolu ready go back camp now. He hasn't returned from the cafe. I've been expecting him. Go on, Jim. Tell Kolu meet him here. Kolu, wait. Very well, Kolu. Kolu? Yes, Missy. What does Mr. Jim do? Kolu, no, no. Go on, Jim. At cafe, Kolu, here. Oh, I don't mean what is he doing at the cafe. I mean, what is he doing down here? What does he work at? No work. You mean he's just a gentleman of leisure? Tuan Jim, no gentleman. Tuan Jim, good master. I'm sure he is. But hasn't he some work to do? Tuan Jim, lick, lick, all time fight. Bad white man, bad black man. Oh, I see. He's a crusader. No, Missy. Tuan Jim, good fellow master. Of course, Kolu, that's what I said. But what was he doing here when he first came down? Fight wild cat, fight animal. A hunter of wild animals? What for? One Jim, tie rope on animal. Kolu, help push animal in park. Yes. Buck, put on puff, puff boat. One Jim, get much gold. Oh, he captured them alive. Yes, Missy. Oh, how exciting. Yes, Missy. Plenty much excite. Look, see. Oh, what gave you that awful scar? Well, that... How did it happen? Well, that lick, lick, make you jump for Swan Jim. Kolu, get in way. You mean you threw yourself between Mr. Jim and the cat? Swan Jim, no see. Well, that, no have eyes, him back head. Then you saved the, your master's life. Maybe, Missy. 
Swan Jim think so? How wonderful of you, Kolu. Kolu, no, could do, but jump. Oh, yes, you could have. Lots of boys would have jumped the other way. I'll bet Mr. Jim thinks the world of you. Maybe, Missy. Well, I bet he wouldn't trade you for all the other boys in Malaysia. Maybe, Missy. Where do you and Mr. Jim live, Kolu? Up water. Swan Jim camp, lick, lick. All same, get burned. Come village, get new camp. But how did it happen to burn? Pirates, come while we go. Lick, lick, burn tent. Lick, lick, take away Jim can food. Food or gun. That was too bad. But why were you away from the camp? Getting more animals? No, Missy. Swan Jim go look see for white Missy and baby. Bad white man keep in cave. Oh, how terrible. And Mr. Jim saved her. Yes, Missy. Swan Jim save white Missy and baby. Now gone away on puff puff boat. Mr. Jim must be a wonderful man, Kolu. I know my father admires him very much. You father mission Swan with engine boat? Yes, father's the missionary with the motor boat. Mission Swan, good Swan. Belong one big fella, master, on top in sky? Kolu, no. I'm glad to hear that, Kolu. I wonder why Mr. Jim doesn't come back. Swan Jim, old friend, Swan Flim. Plenty talky, long time no see. Then I guess there's nothing to do but wait. Yes, Missy, we wait. Down in the cafe, Jungle Jim and the French-Canadian are still at it. Back and forth across the room they go. First one down on the floor, then the other. Ah, good for you now. Good for you, Jim. Let him have it. That's a beauty. Give him another one. Ah, see you. Ah, drop that knife, Baba. Drop it. Ah. I said I'd stand by to see fair play. As the giant half-breed comes at him, Jim plants his left fist into his stomach. Labar doubles over. Jim swings from his boot top and lifts him across the table. Labar is on the floor and lies still. <laughs> Glory be, what a fight that was, lad. I thought he had me a couple of times, Pat. Well, that settled Jock Labar. I guess it does all right. He's... Uh, uh, Jim! What? At the doorway! Uh, look out! What can be behind the warning of Patrick O'Shaughnessy Flynn? What new menace confronts Jungle Jim? Be sure and be with us next week at the same time for the continuation of the great adventures in the life of Jungle Jim. Next Sunday, the Comic Weekly, which is distributed with all Hearst Sunday newspapers, will portray the scene you have just heard dramatized in thrilling full-color action pictures. Be sure and get it. And, of course, besides Jungle Jim, you will find Jiggs and Maggie, the inimitable Scott and Yammer kids, Flash Gordon... Toots and Casper and your old pal, Skippy. Then don't forget to cut out those marvelous poster stamps. A full half page of new and interesting subjects such as ships, flags, American history, aviation, and animals. They are drawn by real artists and printed in full colors. Each stamp six times as large as the ordinary postage stamp. The official album of the Poster Stamp Collectors Club is now available at all stores. So get the Comic Weekly next Sunday with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And don't forget to be with us next week at the same time for the continuation of the adventures of Jungle Jim. Jungle Jim.